Hi, welcome to Viewpoints of the Sunday's Travel. I'm your host, Joe, and with me today is Talia Jackson, Corporate Services Manager at Burns and McDonald. Yeah, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. No, our pleasure, our pleasure. Uh, Talia, a little bit about Ascendus Viewpoints. So it's kind of our way to look at the travel industry and put some viewpoints out there on what's going on. So uh, we talk with some of our partners, some of our clients that we work with, some of the vendors maybe. Uh, sometimes we bring in associations that we're part of and talk to them. So again, just kind of a way to kind of put our stamp on what's happening and bring some viewpoints to light, if you will. So. Right, makes sense. So Talia, I got to start off by saying thank you to you. Uh, you have been a longtime partner with Ascendus and Burns and McDonald. So I, I forget how, I think 15, 20 years, Some, 17, Seven, something like 17 that. 17 years. Who's counting, yeah, right? exactly. Who's counting uh, trust me, point. I am. So thank you. <laughs> gotcha. But uh, as being such a great partner, I've seen over the years how tight you are with your travel program and what's happening. So let's talk a little bit about that because your organization is growing so fast every year at Burns. And, and so um, I'm always amazed by that. So let's start off with your with your travel program. What are some of the key things you look at when you're putting your travel program together and kind of what's going on? You know, for us, it is about ease of use for our travelers because our travelers generally are traveling on behalf of the client. And so um, it, we need for them to be responsive. We need for them to be able to get to the client as easy as possible. The other part that comes with that is the cost, right? Because even though they are traveling on behalf of the client, chances are the client is probably the one that's paying for that. We don't want to take advantage of that relationship with that end client. And so it's important for us to make sure that we are as cost effective as possible so that we can keep those savings for our clients too. Interesting. So how can we help you in that scenario? How do we help you with that? You know, there, there's a lot of ways, right? I mean, just having you all as a partner um, allows us to leverage the technology that we get from you all, the reporting that we're able to get, um, being able to leverage the, the, the discounts through our partnership with you all. I mean, obviously, those are the real tangible things that we can walk away with. But then when I think about the fact that we have been in business with you all for so long, I think there's a lot of um, intangibles that come with that relationship and, and you all being able to help us because you you guys have and do pick up the phone and say, hey, have you guys thought about doing this differently and doing that differently in terms of the travel policy and how we manage it? Sometimes the answer is yes, we've thought about it and no, we don't want to do that because culturally it doesn't fit for us. An example is we don't use Concur as, as heavily as a lot of other companies do and we've had that conversation. Um, but it's a conversation that we can have, and it's, it, it, it doesn't feel tense. It's a very comfortable conversation. Um, there's also times where you guys have said, you know, you guys are leaving money on the table by doing this. Have you thought about doing it differently? And so I feel like you all always have our be best interest at heart, which makes my job so much easier. Right. That's, that's, uh, well, I appreciate that, so thank you. Um, you. You touched on it a little bit there, and maybe where your level is with your online tool and as far as your adoption you're one of our few clients and that um, has a unique uh, setup and model it used to be a service model that was more popular years ago and what I'm talking about that obviously is an on-site with your agents and then you also utilize an online booking tool so a little bit of both why still the on-site model and why not as much onto the online booking tool so um, for us the reason that we continue to utilize on-site travel agents and, and allow our, our travelers to do that is because, again, it goes back to my earlier point, it is ease of use. And we find that there are so many nuances to how our travel travelers travel sure. that um, we actually want them to contact us because it makes it easier in the long run. Um, our change rate is pretty high, yes, um, it as is. you're very well yeah. aware of that. And and so, you know, our travelers might think that they're going to San Francisco in two weeks and nope, now you got to go to New York tomorrow and then you're going to go to San Francisco uh, three days after that. And so those get to be complicated changes, for instance. And so we want our travelers to come to us to work through those because it just makes things so much easier than trying to do it through an online booking tool. We also leverage a lot of our clients' rates on okay. project sites. Sure. Um, and then we're also growing international 
internationally very rapidly and so we don't want our travelers to have to try to navigate um, some of the nuances that come with international travel. So for, for those reasons and, and a host of others, um, we are comfortable with utilizing on-site uh, agents and using Concur for those simple flights that don't happen as, as frequently at our firm as they do at some other firms. Yeah. Uh, you talked a little bit there about international and you all growing and, and I know you do some travel through uh, EMEA and around the area and also other parts of the world but as you look at your KPIs and everything else that you track because I know you do and you have them in, in place and uh, frequently review them how high up on it is crisis management and just risk management with your travelers as they're going international? You know, for us, that whole duty of care is a big conversation that we're having um, right now. And we are fortunate that our travelers do use the travel department. And so we rarely have rogue travelers who are making their own arrangements. So from that standpoint, we're fortunate in that if something were to happen, at least we know where they should be, right? We know that they've made their flight arrangements, that they've made their hotel arrangements for us. And so being able to find them is um, a little bit easier than, than if we didn't have that information, right? Um, so it, it is a high priority, but it is a difficult nut to crack, so to speak, right? We're still trying to figure that out. Internally, we're still trying to figure out who's on first when it comes to contacting the traveler. Should something happen? Is it HR? Is it safety? Is it security? Is it travel? Um, you know, if it's a weather event, for instance, travel needs to handle that because we are the ones who can go in there and get them out of harm's way and rebook flights because generally with a weather issue you have some sort of advance warning if it's some sort of terrorist situation then maybe security should be the one to to handle that the benefit that we have at burns and mcdonald is that i have a couple of those departments under my responsibility okay. i have both travel and security and so because of that we can kind of navigate between those two a little bit easier um, but to answer your direct question it's, it's very important to us okay so uh, one last question for you. Okay. Um, I was talking about KPIs, and I know you track a lot of this, not the same, but some certain metrics that we do on other accounts. Are there any ones that you have maybe f from your own way of looking at travel that you track for Burns, just saying, hey, we got to be here with this, or agents can only do so many transactions, or anything unique that you look at when it comes to KPIs? I don't think so, um, okay. or, or at least they don't seem unusual to me. And, okay. and maybe again, because we've been in relationship for so long sure. that you guys have um, been able to cater to what we are looking for. But I, I will you know, say that there were a couple of metrics that, that are presented to us and we look at on a regular basis that aren't as important to us and so I had to communicate to you all you know what provide this information but we're not going to spend a lot of time talking about it right so concur utilization is one that we looked at we recently just started saying you know what let's only look at it domestically because I don't care about it internationally because they should not be using concur for international um, and so maybe that's an example of how we've tweaked something or how we've said let's look at it to make sure it doesn't get really out of control but at the end of the day it might not be something that we focus on quite so heavily as maybe another firm does okay so I actually fibbed a little I do have one more question as, as you're going and you're talking about your international travelers and stuff um, you have such a big buy-in in, in your program from your executives how have you been able to do that because we work with clients all the time where maybe the adoption into the program isn't as much and we always tell them listen you have to have executive buy-in senior leadership has to be part of it and I know your folks are front and center on that so how has that been able to work that way you know, if, if I think about it, there's probably two things, right? On, on one hand, it's probably because um, our senior executive team understands the benefit that we are getting from a cost savings by being able to leverage that spend. So we've been able to share that information over time, and now it's just comfortable. It's just easy um, for us to have those conversations because we've already done the education years ago, right. and now we just continue to share that. The other piece that, that um, I think probably comes into play is that I know several of our executives also have utilized Ascendus on the personal side, right, for leisure travel and have have been wowed multiple times. I've had those conversations with some of our executives, have been wowed by Ascendus's um, 
responsiveness and customer service on that end. And so I think it's easy when they hear the Ascendus names to go, oh, yep, they're, they're going to do the right thing, be it corporate travel or leisure travel. So I would say both of those come into play. Well, that's very kind of you to say. And Talia, thank you for being here today. And, and thank you for the 17 years and the partnership that we've had together. Uh, we love Burns and McDonald's, so thank you. And we love Ascendus, so it works out well. All right. All right, thank you. This has been Viewpoints with Ascendus Travel. All right.